and Rosie, how long have you been at the club for? Three years. And Georgia, how do you think the season's going so far? It's going well. It's going well. Why is it going well? So guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we've got Palms versus Riddle. We are nine points clear. If we win this and win the next game, we are going to win the league. So you guys are going to have to see if we win today. Come on, you Palmers. So Riddle start with the ball at kickoff and is played straight back to their centre midfielder. He then proceeds to play up to number 15, who is their main danger. But Nancy and Lacey combined deal with her well. So Riddle are on the attack. Once again, a number eight gets past Tilly here and is played to number 14, who has a shot. She slices it, comes out to number 10 pretty nicely, to be honest. She opens up, has a shot, but Ella saves that comfortably. Now it's Palmer's first counter-attack and Ellie has the ball from centre midfield. Takes on number eight, takes on two defenders at once. Keepers off her line, saves it with her knees. Millsy tries to put a tackle in, but number eight receives that and nothing comes of that attack. Now it's me on the ball. Palmer's number eight, I take it past their number eight, have a shot, but it's pretty weak and the keeper has that in her arms safely. So now the ball's come out wide to their right back who's put a lovely ball over the top to their attacker who tries to chip Ella, but luckily for us, nothing comes of that and it goes out for a goal kick. Now it's cleared out wide by the defence, Milsey misses that, but number nine headers it and Milsey gets back well to intercept that header. She tries to take it down the line, no support for her there, but she opts to choose Molly on the inside who turns it nicely, plays it to me. I'm in acres of space now, but I opt to choose Molly to pass it to. Molly plays a nice one-two with me, I let it bounce twice because it bubbled up, take on my left foot and oh that was just over the bar. Now Molly's on the ball once again, she turns inside, plays a pinpoint pass, straight to Ellie, pass number six, nothing she could do, Ellie needs to flick it over now but she just narrowly misses. Now the ball's with Molly, once again, when is she not on the ball honestly, she takes on two players, plays it inside to Layla, she's in acres of space, a touch lets her down, she recovers well by playing it to me, I play it back to her, she's got so much time, takes on her left foot, it's dipping but it's just over the crossbar. So now there's a friend by Milsey here who plays it inside to Ellie. Ellie plays it straight back. Good work between these two. And now Milsey plays it inside to Molly. There's a lucky few bobbles here and Ellie wins it. There's a half clearance by this player and Ellie's walking through. She gets kicked and that is a free kick. And obviously I'm just going to run up and go Anika, and clean this free Anika, kick because it is in scoring Anika. territory. But will I Watch convert it this time? And if you can hear in the background, the manager is saying to me, watch the wind, watch the wind, because as you can tell, the net is shaking, it is very windy. But I take that in mind, I take it with my left foot, it's a wind assisted goal, but it counts anyway. And I wasn't really too happy with this, that's why I didn't really celebrate. But yeah, the goal is a goal and we're 1-0 up. And of course, you know what time it is, instant replay time. And as you can just see, it was more about accuracy rather than power, because it was quite windy. So there wasn't much power, more about accuracy. It sort of goes above her hands, unlucky to the keeper there. But a goal was a goal, as I said before. And we needed that goal because we just weren't converting our shots. They were just wide or just over the bar. And yeah, now it's one nil and we are up for this game once again. And it's that time of the game again. It is kickoff and Riddle Minus starts off once again. And Ellie's straight in there with the pressure. And Molly wins that. Now Layla has the ball. She cuts back now past number 14 and plays it inside. But nothing comes of this. So now I start this attack off for Palmer's by playing it inside to Molly. I'm on the overlap, but she chooses to take it past two players. She does so. Takes a shot on, but that's just wide. So now Ritter on the break once again and it's crossed in towards number five. She misses it, not makes Ella. Number five is there to just slot it past Ella into an open goal and it is now 1-0 and we have lost that 1-0 lead. So we're going to have to look at a replay again but the winger plays in a dangerous ball into the middle and as you can see number five is approaching it. She misses it, so does Ella. It actually not makes Ella and she is left to slot it into the goal easy goal for Rittel and it's 1-1 one, one. so Ellie's going to start us off with kickoff this time to Palmer's and she plays it to me and I just take a 
touch, look up, pass it to Bailey with my left foot and she takes that down quite nicely. She turns out and then she turns back in and she plays it to Layla and now she's on the overlap and Layla chooses to take on number three. She does so, sort of pushes her out of the way but luckily for us Andy did not see that and Bailey takes the pass to number three, passes it down the line to Layla. She just about reaches and gets onto that and she plays a lovely ball in, dangerous as well. Ellie gets there but it's blocked and Bailey has the shot and that has just gone wide. Now the ball's rolling, Molly's going to look up, take the shot, it bounces once and the keeper collects that and that is half time. So far we're doing well, at first we just couldn't convert our shots, sort of happening once again and it's 1-0. I think overall we've had more possession, we've done really well, played nicely as a team, nice passing in the final thirds, just need to get that shot off and we need to score. So this is Rittle's half time talk, oh hi. Hi to you two. And they are eating halftime oranges. And what team doesn't want halftime oranges? If there's any desire in football, it obviously isn't to score, it's just to get halftime oranges. If any of you guys want to get us halftime oranges, it would be my pleasure. Come and bring us halftime oranges. Would really appreciate that. Because we play in orange, but we don't have halftime oranges. Anyway, enough of rambling on, let's get back to the game. Kick off and Palmer starts off once again with Ellie playing it back to me. Same combination this time, but I play it back instead of forwards and on to the next attack. So this attack is going to be started by Ella, who plays it to me. I take it on my back foot, turn, look up and play the ball into Layla. Layla then plays it first time to me and I'm going to take it forward now. I'm going to turn back past this player and look up, find Layla with a nice fruit ball, pass number six and now she's through on goal. Not all she needs to do is cut in. She does so, takes a shot off and she unfortunately misses and it's still 1-1. So this Palmer's attack is going to be started with Layla who turns inside pass number 10 and plays it to Tilly. Tilly plays it back to Layla. Lack of communication here. They're both going for the ball. But now Ellie's got the ball. Turns back. Fakes. Pass it to Layla. Layla takes it inside. Takes a shot across goal. Great save by the keeper. And Mills is at the back post to slot it in. And it's 2-1 to Palmer's. Come on you Palmer's. So there's another action replay and this time I'm happy to say it's for a Palmer's goal and we are 2-1 up. As you can see there's a great shot on Layla's weak foot, her left foot. Great save there also by the keeper but the number three just can't get there in time and Millsy just slots it in with her stronger right foot. So now it's a Rittle minor kickoff and it started with their striker who plays it straight back to their centre midfielder who runs past Ellie. Ellie does well to recover and nothing comes of that. So Layla passes it to me after she does her little dance. Can we just get a bit of a replay of music on that quickly? But when Layla does eventually pass it to me, I play it straight down the line to Millsy, who waits for me, play a nice one too, and I send it a bit too far, but she manages to run and keep it on well, looks up for Molly, plays dangerous passing, but number 13's blocked that, someone takes a shot and misses. And now this goal kick is going to be taken, but we're going to keep the pressure high straight away with Layla, our number seven, winning the ball, passing it to Molly. Molly turns out and plays a nice ball down the line to Bailey. Bailey chooses to take on two players. Unfortunately, she misses out there and is played inside. I'm there to intercept it, however. Bit of a bad touch by me, to be honest. But I turn out nicely and drive inwards and play it to Layla. Layla gets out of her feet, takes the shot. This time, she actually does score with her right foot. Beautiful goal by her. Assist by me and it is now 3-1. So, of course, we've got to get that action replay. So, I play it to Layla. Layla tees it up for the shot. It's a lovely shot. It's dipping. It looks like it's going to go to the right. The keep had no chance. Sun in her eyes. It was a beautiful goal by her. And it was 3 1 to Palmer's. Kick off once again to Rittle Miners and they play it back to the centre midfielder who tries to take on. Layla wins that back, tries to pass it through her, she blocks it nicely and nothing comes of that. But now Layla's on the ball once again, tries to play it back to Molly and that is cleared outwards. But Layla's once again there putting on the pressure, puts the cross in, this dangerous bobbling ball but the keeper is equal to it. So Ella starts us off with a ball towards the centre midfield but it's intercepted by Rittle and there's a long looping ball over the top. Number two connects with it well. Great save by Ella, great reflexes there. And she picks up, oh no she doesn't, and it's just cleared out, luckily for her. And you can see her reaction, she was not happy with that. 
So now Bailey starts off with this attack and she plays it inwards and I play it straight to Molly, lovely looping ball there and Molly wins it past number 12, now she's driving inwards, she's got no support at the moment, she, she chooses to take the shots, rolling, oh, she just keeps getting denied, this is her debut and she hasn't scored yet and she's been so close. Now I think that Layla's going to have that shot and the keeper saves it, all Bailey needs to do is convert it but she turns this defender and there's a great slide tackle there, Bailey trips over but it's a great tackle overall and it's out for a corner. Now this corner is going to be played in by me, there's a bit of a scramble in there, Layla completely slices it but luckily for us that is full time. So that game ended 3-1, it was a great contest between both teams, Palmers showed great character to get back into it after dropping their 1-0 lead to one all, and we managed to win 3-1, I take nothing away from Rittle, they played extremely well as well with a great build up to their goal and they kept on fighting right until the end as you can see by that last ditch tackle on Bailey which probably would have denied her a goal. But yeah, well done to both teams. And if we win the next one, we win the league. So that video will be out shortly. Look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you on the other side. Goodbye.